Good day, everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Fayette Focus. Harry right with you today, my guest from the Fayette County Museum, the Historical Society, if you will. We have Bev Mullen. Bev, how are you? I'm good this morning, and you? I'm doing just fine. Another uh, uh, October is coming up for the museum, and everybody goes, well, Harry, the museum's closed in October. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yep, that's right. It's not, kinda. like, completely closed. No, it, we're never completely closed. Because it's your museum. So if you need to make an appointment to have a tour, you can do that. And so therefore we're open. (laughs) That's right. So all you got to do is make that phone call and uh, say, hey, I need to bring some family in. And and that's what we're looking at. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about there's what do we have coming up? We have Thanksgiving. We have Christmas. We have New Year's. Um, any of those any of those months that don't have anything going on in them. If you have family coming in and you've all had your dinner and now you don't know what to do with all of these people, just throw up your hands and say, hey, let's go visit the local museum. But do not call us that day because I can't guarantee that there will be somebody who could rush over, leave what they're doing and rush over and give you a tour. However, you don't plan a party that big without it being in advance. So when you decide to plan your party, give us a call and say, this is the day, this is approximately the time. And a volunteer, one of our, one of our docents, one of our uh, trustees will call you back. And now you've got some place to send all these people. You don't even have to come with them. You can stay home, put your feet up on a chair while they're gone. <laughs> Bev's, baby, Bev's family babysitting service. Send the family to Bev. She'll take care of them. Now, you know, we talk... Now let's not no no <laughs> no. You know we talk a lot about Thanksgiving, Christmas. Just say, um, in the middle of October, you've got family coming into town, and you're looking for something on a Saturday afternoon to do. That's that's exactly what you do. Is you call us when you know, and set that up, and we will have somebody there to open the house up and take you on a tour. And remember, we're air conditioned now. We've always had heat, but we're air conditioned now. So, And with the new windows and everything that's been put in, even in the wintertime, it's going to be warmer. Oh, it's going to be it's, it's going to be great no matter what time of the year you're in the museum. So, so now uh, tell everybody what the phone number is. The phone number is 740-335-2953. And that's just a call and say, look, I got family coming in. Yeah, nobody lives at the museum. That's just a number you're calling and we will get back to you. Are there any ghosts? There are no ghosts in the museum. No. Nothing's been moved or anything. Nothing's been moved and no occasionally we have a bat that worms its way through a little hole and but other than that no there are no ghosts there are no surprises there are the surprise is how much information is within those walls that most people in this county don't know about. You know, I'd, I'd be wondering if, when when a history teacher says, you know, here's a project. I want you to pick something in Fayette County and do a project on its history. The, your first stop should be the museum. Absolutely, your first stop, because every docent can give you ideas that you can do your paper or your project on. Um, we have a research library right there. We have artifacts right there that you can take pictures of. It's it's. We're one-stop shopping when it comes to kids and their projects at school, particularly if you're interested in history. There you go, folks. So the Fayette County Museum, don't forget it this winter, even though, you know, you're saying, ah, it's winter time, the museum is closed. Well, they're just closed for normal business hours. We're talking about abnormal business hours, and that's when you have a need for your family or for you to come to the museum. Exactly. Now, there are two events coming up that I want to mention. Um, one is October 1st on the lawn of the of the museum will be the London Silver Coronet Band. It is going to be a marvelous performance. It's only one hour long. Bring your chairs, bring your blankets, come and sit, come and listen. It's a, 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 I have not heard them, but I have it on good word that they are a wonderful band and it's going to be very entertaining and I and so and it's a free concert. So like I said, grab what is that song? Grab the wrap up the babies and grab the old ladies and everybody go to the museum on October first. Wow. You went know, you I'm, went back you, you went back a day or two for that one, didn't you? Now the other event is as Harry knows, my very favorite event of the whole year. I've been with the museum since 2004. I have yet to grow tired of this event. Cookie sale is coming. The first 
Saturday in December. I don't know what that date is, but check your calendar. It is the first Saturday in December. It is our only fundraising project. So if you want to bake for us, give us a call. We're always looking for bakers. And if you don't want to bake, you just want to buy, oh my goodness, we'll open the front door for you. And you come and you get all of your cookie baking done in one day at the museum. It's kind of unfair to even say it's your cookie baking because you're not going to be baking. You're going to be buying. But here's the thing. Buy them by the pound and eat them by the sackful. <laughs> okay. There you go. Or buy them and give them away as gifts so you don't have to do the baking. And everyone will marvel at your baking skills. Oh and the museum people will not tell anyone. No, no, we never. We never. We keep a list of our bakers. We never keep a list of our buyers. That's right. So your secret is safe with Absolutely. the museum. I want to thank Bev for taking time out of her busy day and visiting with us on the program today. We thank her so much for all the info that she gives us about the Historical Society and the museum. Young lady, you're welcome back anytime. Well, thank you very kindly.